Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. If you like the Mike Widener Show and you want to make your own podcast, well, let me tell you about Anchor. First of all, it's free. Secondly, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. You can also add any song from Spotify directly to your episodes. The possibilities are endless. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. It can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. You can also make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. So download the free Anchor app or go to Anchor FM to get start. Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show. Powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios, take your image to the next level. Also, time to give official shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, international warring author Mia molson If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia molson available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia molson has garnered great reviews, and Eve 11 enjoys by Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and Manus. So grab your copy today for Goes Missing by Mia molson available on Amazon. Also, check out the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms heard in over 100 countries, including Facebook, SoundCloud, Spreaker, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Also, Anchor FM, iTunes, Google Play, Amazon, Audible, Apple Music. Also on HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, Old East Radio, and a few networks coming soon. Take the Mike Widener Show with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Widener Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Widener Show on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok today. And for great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. T-shirts, pop sockets, throw pillows, tote bags, hoodies, baseball gear. Makes great gifts 24-7. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Widener Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash MiaMosinZia. For great books like Missing, Once, and Wrinkles, also T-shirts, pop sockets, hoodies, phone cases, and more, Amazon.com slash Mia Molson Zia. Check it out today. I'll support the Mike Widener Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the Mike Widener Show.com. Make sure you do so today. We're here with a terrific gentleman who is the world's only African-American king, guru, minister, and founder of the Mind Tuning Philosophy and Foundation of You Teachings. He's also a, a SAG actor. Actor, singer, songwriter, recording artist, and of course, there's more. He's also a musician, clean comedy comedian, and also he's um, a Manhattan cable TV host and producer, entrepreneur, and also a civic leader. He hosted a Caribbean radio show. He's also vice president and partner of uh, New York Global Biz Magazine. He also uh, spent years as a runaway foster child, plays saxophone in Lauren Hill's um, That Thing video. And of course, um, he's also got a great story to tell, too. And um, I'd like to talk about uh, the Mind Tuning Radio Project. And um, what's upcoming? We'll find out more live, ladies and gentlemen, from the Plus Studios in beautiful downtown New York City. The amazingly multi talented and world's only African American king, guru, minister, and more, and the founder of Mind Tuning Philosophy. Ladies and gentlemen, the very multi talented King Melvin Brown. King Melvin, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us here, Royalty. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm, I'm just glad to be here. I just thank uh, that great, our uh, great friends, uh, Eileen Shapiro, uh, you know, and, and uh, my good friend uh, and publicist, Irma Tyus Mitchell. Uh, and I thank you for having me. It's wonderful. I heard so many good things about you. <laughs> and and, and what, I'm returning the favor. A lot of great things about you is just like you know you've got a huge uh, King Scroll laundry list. Mine's just like maybe a little, but <laughs> and of course you want to give me some more too. That's fine too. So you're the world's only um, African American King Guru Minister and also founder of the Mind Tuning Philosophies Foundation of Youth Teachings. Also, you're an actor as well mm-hmm. too, singer, songwriter, recording artist, as well as an, um, a musician, clean comedy comedian, also as a uh, Manhattan cable TV host. You're also a producer as well. Also um, entrepreneur, civic leader, and more as well. Vice president, partner of New York Global Dot Biz Magazine. You spent years as a runaway foster child, played saxophone in um, Lauren Hill's uh, That Thing video. You're also uh, heading up um, Mind Tuning Radio. You also have an upcoming book. And before getting all that, uh, King Melvin, tell us how you first got started. Oh, well, um, that's a good good place to start, is any. Uh Basically, uh, foster child, you know, uh, 
mom wasn't, you know, too well. And, and uh, that we went into the foster care system and uh, been in the orphanages, uh, been in different foster homes. And then eventually uh, I actually went to, a, uh, before going to those uh, unbelievable, uh, grueling and not so good foster homes, uh, I eventually land uh, with some uh, parents that was pretty middle class, you know, pretty upscale and uh, taught us, you know, uh, we had this Saturday, we had to go to Bible's class. We Sunday we had to go to church. So she wouldn't she wouldn't let us uh actually play with the regular kids, you know, and uh she was strict but wonderful, uh showed us the upscale lifestyle, you know, Sag Harbor, you know, um uh, the uh, the Hamptons, you know, and and uh and then I got to a right teenage, you know, years and she wouldn't let me have no girlfriends, you know. And I was like, oh, oh, we, oh, this is, uh, then I became a runaway. I'm like, oh, we can't do this, you know. So I ran away from home and started uh, the street life and uh, just uh, got into all kind of, because what's out there for the street kids is um, a lot of mischief and a lot of, you know, the first time you have having freedom and you're running wild and just going crazy. And, and so I really was very fortunate that I didn't get in any real trouble because she did taught us, you know, how far to go. And I had those teachings in my, when my friends wanted to do something really crazy, I'm like, okay, time for me to leave. I'm out of here. So I had enough sense to not really uh, get really in trouble and incarcerate anything like that. But um, Hmm. uh, I know about street life and being out there in the street and, and being able to just have the rough streets uh, trouble staring in the face. So my heart goes out to runaways and foster kid kids and orphans because I'm from that community. And I like to say, I'm kind of like the Phoenix, you know, rising from the ashes. Oh, yeah, and, I'm familiar uh, with that term. Yeah, I can see you at, at very clearly too. And you're a epitome of that rising from the Phoenix. That's amazing. Yes, I just, I'm grateful, you know, uh, mentors saw something in me and people... Uh, pulled me by the coat and gave me some good coaching and and uh, and kept me close to them and so so my every time I do anything I'm always uh, conscious of raising money for foster care orphans adoption so that's my heart every actor has their their uh, what they want to give charity to so I'm, my I'm always uh, interested in raising money for the runaways orphans adopted children. Uh, that's my heart, and and I always make sure I keep some aside to be able to build. And uh, I'm talking about a mansion. I think I'm out of the box. I'm talking about uh, when I was a foster kid, kid. It was such a stigma. You didn't want nobody to know that because you were so uh, you felt like a left shoe. You didn't feel you know confident. You didn't want. It was an embarrassment. So so the kind of orphanage I'm going to make is uh, with my friends in the Screen Actors Guild. They got all these mansions that they just don't even live in and they have write offs. So I'm asking all of them, you got to give me a mansion for the program for these kids. So um, it's just amazing. My sister and I, we uh, uh, always uh, 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 just uh, work very close in, and uh, we kind of ran the streets together. And we know that when we create and talk to these children, we're not talking from theory. We're talking from experience, so they feel us when we talk to them. Uh, that's why I created the uh, philosophy called the mind tuning philosophy. And uh, a little elaborate a little bit about that. The mind tuning philosophy. I have a simple saying: If the mind is out of tune, your life's going to be out of tune. Makes sense. And if and if your life is in tune, you know, if your mind is in tune, your life's going to be in tune. So, so it's basically a it's a conversation. Not any conversation. It's a powerful conversation that's kind of out of the box. You know, we talk about things, how to recreate yourself. We talk about your stories and your mind versus the facts. Because some of them be confused. And we make sure you get them real clear and square. And if you're carrying a lot of baggage, which I was carrying a lot of baggage, 
we get rid of the, we create a program we call it let go and release and we mm. get we sit the, and have you have this conversation that have you really understand that you have the power to reinvent yourself and you have all the solutions but we just got to show you that you are equipped to transform your life if you don't like the way your life is we will show you how to go into yourself and be able to find those tools to recreate yourself and be do and have anything you want because we teach that kind of ability in the mind tuning philosophy mm-hmm. you, you talked about the mind tune having like your your mind being uh, right your um your, your brain being right and everything else also the uh, let go baggage program how about some of the other programs that are tied to it that's what? How about some of the other t- programs that are tied to it? You talked about the let go baggage. If um, your mind is not right whatsoever, and uh, how about some of the other programs that are also uh, tied to it, offshoots and uh, everything else? Well, uh, we also uh, teach a pro- mind tuning uh, teaches how to tune your mind through meditation. We also um, have a course that we um, talk about um, how to recreate yourself. Uh, we also have a program on um, your story versus the facts. We also teach a course called The Fountain of You. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants to know how to live longer, how to live healthier. We teach that. I've been fasting for over 30, 40 years. Wow. And we let people understand that. You, they think the founder of youth is an is an illusion, but the fact is, old age is an illusion. Mm-hmm. The fact and how we prove that is, if everyone at a certain age was at the same physical condition, then that would be the fact. But you and I know you have people that take care of themselves in a proper way. That when they get to a certain age, you don't even know what age they are because they're still functional. And mm-hmm. we teach people that this great miracle machine called the body is probably the only thing if you know the manual, how to operate the manual, it reproduces itself mm-hmm. and recreate itself. And if you know the manual very well and know how to uh, cleanse it, how to meditate, and how to eat the right things and take care of it properly, you literally do not have to experience old age, disease, sickness, and and early death. You do not have to experience that. So so it's um it's very, very powerful. And and I like the program we call it the let go and release program, where people come in with a lot of baggage, a lot of pain. And we have wonderful uh, theatrical exercises where they can uh, go into a room and and let it all hang out. Everything goes, and and when they come out of that, it's usually a major wall falls down and a new being emerges. It's so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing. That has to be that too. And um, we'll talk more about that as well too. We'll talk about your uh, career as well too, being actor, singer, songwriter, and more. Also have an upcoming book. But first, listen to the Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all your needs. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs at below the competition weight. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. That's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention Mike Widener's show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout-out to our official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia molson If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia molson available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. It takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those you love will be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia molson has got great reviews, and Eve Levin and George Bob Howard celebrities, including Joanna Cassidy, Forge Riley, and Manils. So grab your copy today for Girls Missing by Mia molson available on Amazon.
Also, check out the Mike Weiner Show at themikewinershow.com on over 40 podcast platforms, heard in over 100 countries, also on HamiltonRadio.net, Diamonds FM, Oldies Radio, and more. Take us with you on any mobile device. Subscribe to the Mike Weiner Show on the YouTube channel. Follow the Mike Weiner Show on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok today for great gift ideas. Go to Amazon.com and check out the Mike Weiner Show podcast. And for more great gift ideas, go to Amazon.com slash Mia Muslim Dia for great books, merchandise, and more. I'll support the Mike Weidner Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the MikeWeidnerShow.com. Make sure you do so today. We're here with the uh, terrific uh, world's only African-American king, guru, minister, founder of Mind Tuning Philosophy and the Foundation of Youth Teachings, King Melvin Brown here on the Mike Weidner Show. And before we continue on with the um, the uh, Mind Tuning Philosophy as well, too, and, um, you know, it's really interesting. You also have been, like, just multi-talented all across the board. You're an actor, singer, songwriter, recording artist, musician, clean comedy comedian, uh, t- TV host in Manhattan, entrepreneur, and uh, civic leader, host of a Caribbean radio show. And, um, you know, you, you say you've been an actor as well, too. And, you know, tell us how you got involved in acting. Well, that's a, that's a good question, uh, Mike. Uh, actually, I was so abused as a foster child. Well, I think there are some technical difficulties with uh, King Melvin here on the Mike Wagner show. And uh, okay, you had your you had your uh, microphone off for just a minute, so so, so go on I, what you're saying. Um, excuse me for that. Uh, some of uh, what I was saying that about sixth grade, I didn't talk. I was that abused, mm. full of fear, and they didn't know. They thought I was a mute. I wouldn't talk. It just that I was traumatic when it comes to fear you know so uh i used to have a lot of problems communicating Mm -hmm. so i uh went to the doctor and they tried to figure out what was wrong with these headaches and just like the universe i always believe in universal principles it was kind of weird for a doctor to say we can't find nothing wrong with you but you need an outlet and it should be theater Mm-hmm. I said, that's kind of weird for a doctor to tell me, but sometimes the universe, <laughs> the universe just create magic like that. So I'm in Harlem one day and I see a guy giving out flyers. So about be full self-expressed. So I knew I said, wow, that sounds interesting. So I go to the, to the, uh, to the uh, theater and everyone got up and said, oh, I'm going to be an actor, you know, cause you got to be in a circle. And everybody said, well, I'm going to be an actor. I'm going to be an actress. And when it got to me, I sheepishly got up and said, I just want to be able to speak. And I sat right down. Hmm. Interesting. So uh, six weeks went by. It was a six-week program. And it was to my fifth and a half week. And I didn't – everybody was sharing in the circle. Everybody was expressing themselves. And the director said one thing, said, it's a shame. All of this money you some people pay for this course, you're going to leave out of here the same way you came in here. Mike, that gave me such a shock wave in my brain because I knew I was a live person that was buried six feet under and couldn't and couldn't scratch my way out, and that frightened the hell out of me. For me to know that I was going to leave out of there and this was a place that could help me and for me to stay there and not open my mouth, I jumped up and I said, I want to speak. And everybody, the whole place shut down. I said, everybody wow. sit to your chairs. And they, everybody knew I didn't say one word. And then I said to them, I can't speak. I'm afraid to speak. I, and they asked me to, what happened? And I told them all of the trauma that I went through. And next thing you know, I was bawling like a ripper. And everybody wanted to console me. They said, no, sit in your chairs. They said, talk about it. And when I finished talking about it, it was the most beautiful experience ever. And I never forget. They said, those people that did things, things to you, what would you like to say to them? And they gave me a, 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 a noose 
a New York Times newspaper, never forget. And they said, go over here, and every time you talk to these people, hit that bar. By the time I finished hitting that bar, Mike, it was a shred. I didn't have any newspaper left. <laughs> it was a liberation that, and we couldn't get out of the class until we created a play out of our experiences. Mm. So everybody that knew that came to, to, to see my, to see me, they didn't know who that was. This was a kid that couldn't talk, couldn't express himself. All of a sudden I'm singing, I'm telling jokes. They like, my family was like, who the hell is that? <laughs> so it, it, so I really got into acting to save my life. Mm. So that's why I owe everything to the arts. Anything I do, I'm always going to be contributing to the arts because it actually saved my life. And then I enjoyed it so much. Then I started going on auditions and it got into the Screen Actors Guild. And I found out I was a pretty good musician, singer, songwriter. All of these talents was hidden. And all of a sudden, when I was able to get my voice, they just come springing up. And, and it was just a beautiful thing to be able to express yourself and, and make people laugh and, and, and make beautiful music and art. And um, that's how it came about. Hmm. That's rather fascinating. And I love that story about the New York Times. And so it's like, you know, you know, that being thick and everything else, it's like, if I found it shredded, I'd be pretty ticked off. I'd pay like, what, three bucks for like a daily, five for a Sunday or something. I want the comics in that thing, not shredded <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh it's like it's too big of an investment to be shredding a paper like that especially in new york times my goodness <laughs> i know <laughs> oh my well, god i want to give you i want to give you a clean joke a comedy joke because i brand myself as a clean comic oh yes that's right i was going to mention that but go ahead since you brought it up well you know um my 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 i belong to a family that's pretty brainiac you know they got all kind of degrees so i didn't really i didn't dig school like that you know and they would always say you need to go back and get your degree and you know i mean i just wanted to be a regular guy i'm not i wasn't interested in finance institution but finally they talked me into it mm. mike give me some love because i finally got my phd Woo! congratulations thank you very much but i gotta come clean that stands for public high school diploma. I like that. That's a good way of looking at it. Yeah, public high school <laughs> diploma. That's a good way of looking at it. I never thought of it before. You're teaching me some good le lessons, Melvin, or should I say King Melvin? That's amazing. When I, when, I tell, when I tell that joke, they have a fit because I, I roll them into it, and they like, oh, yeah, give them a round of applause. And then I, then I said, uh-oh, I got to come clean. I'm supposed to be a pastor. I can't lie. Public high school diploma, they fall out. And then I said, don't you know, I said, well, at least I did get my MBA. And they said, oh, well, you got, I said, massive bank account. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, thank you. Massive thank you bank much. account. I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, kids, children can come and hear my comedy. That's why I brand it as clean comedy. Sometimes I come on the stage with a broom and they're like, what the? What the heck is this guy coming on a, with a tuxedo? What does he come with a broom for? I said, sorry, that's my branding. I'm doing clean comedy. Do -do -boom -boom. I like that. Yes. And it made me think of uh, one of the comedians that did clean comedy. I think it was, um, who is it? Uh, Doug Coulier from um, Full, Full House. He was doing a little, uh, you know, troop on that. So it's just like, you know, we love to hear clean comedy for a change, too. It's yeah, like she has in a couple of words in my tire. Bill Cosby was with a clean comic and Sinbad, you know. Mm -hmm. So so I just kind of got kind of uh, uh, snuffed under the rug a little bit. Because, listen, I, I like the other stuff, too. Now, I grew up on, you know, you know, the other stuff. But, you know, me being a pastor, I said, it probably, uh, you know, I'll probably get some good kudos with the guy upstairs, you know. You know, if I do clean comedy, <laughs> <laughs> you, you know, what? you mentioned Bill Cosby in there doing clean comedy. It made me think of that comedy skit. No, you want me to build an arc? Right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I still remember that comedy skit. Oompa, oompa. You want me to do oh, this? Classic. Right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. Uh, I, I, I still remember that. It's like, I think people need to remember that Bill Cosby did clean comedy all back in the day as well too. And uh, yes. <laughs> So, so, you know, uh, so I'm not saying that I created it, but I just think it, it, it just fits my kind of background being a pastor and, you know, so, and I'm, and I'm good with it because uh, it, I get a lot of, uh, a larger audience. I mean, families can actually come here, hear my, my, uh, my show. And uh, most people be, I just wanted to share with you. Everyone usually say, wait a minute, what is this first original uh african-american king what is that about oh mike mike i'm here mike yes when, when i when that came about people were like what the what excuse you i'm like <laughs> calm down i anybody knows <laughs> when you go to the history when they took these slaves from africa they had kings and queens I'm mm -hmm. an African American. Slaves, uh, uh, I'm a descendant of slaves. So I have a right to that. So I I I call it out of being uh too religious, I usually say source or your higher self, or that with with each of us having that power in us, we are human. And we divine. Mm. And if That's we an figure out how to blend the two, you can literally be, do, and have anything you want. So I am uh, the first original African American king. And I will soon, there will be a coronation and all of that. And plus some, because I have created that. That's how I come in the world to be and create. So uh, a lot of people, they, they, well, how you become royalty? I said, I don't need no permission to be royalty. If I come from the creator and the creator and I are one, uh, peanut gallery, I really don't need your approval. Mm-hmm. Yes, we are listening. That's right. So, and that, that is truly amazing. And we totally agree with you as well, too. So, I mean, you got a great story right there and uh, rightfully so. And also another thing that came up as well, too, you've been involved with music as well. One of the things that really stood out, you played the sax in Lauren Hill's uh, That Thing video. And uh, tell us about that. What was it like uh, playing with uh, Lauren Hill, especially in that video? Well, it, it was it was wonderful. Um, being in the Screen Actors Guild, remember, you know, you... Uh, uh, the union sent you on these jobs, you know, so I, I did the audition and next thing you know, I got the job. So, you know, I was hanging out with the great Lauren Hill. I was like, whoa, oh my God, I'm hanging out with Lauren Hill. Oh my God. And and she was just so cool. And um, and, and it needs to say that thing, it was the, it, what was so creative about that, that piece, it was the black and white screen. Mm -hmm. Remember that? I remember, yes. With that heavy right. bass line, boom, 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 boom. Oh my, that thing, that thing. Oh, it was, it was a party. It, we did it in, uh, I think, uh, in Fort Hamilton, up in Harlem, uh, uh, Fort Hamilton. It was just a party, and it was wonderful. So I still get hits on that. People calling up, "Why well, didn't know you play Saxon?" And I saw you on the video, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> <on the> video. <laughs> You know something? I think you, I think I'd like to have you back on. You can play some sax for us. It's like I can have you back on for that. We'll talk, you know, you know, with uh, some of your uh, mind tuning philosophy and some of the subjects and play the saxophone tune, play clean, clean comedy. I would love that. How about you? <laughs> well, hey, we got to make it happen. Okay. Yes, that'd be great. I, and I think you saw one of the other photos I was with Carlos Santana. Uh, I played uh, on. Uh, uh, Spanish Mona Lisa, him and Rob Thomas did that together. Nice. Yeah, so that that uh, it, it's just wonderful to be able to be an artist, to uh, be able to uh, share love, art, and I, I'm just a little uh, biased. 
I think the artists are the best people in the whole universe. You know, we're putting love in the world. Uh, and I didn't really, between you and I, I didn't really have that under, great understanding or that value of how important the artist was. Because I came up in a family like, really? Get a real job. You want to be a, you want to be an actor? I mean, get a real job. I came up in that era. So mm -hmm. I was like, what the, but when I understood, if it wasn't for the artists in the dark ages, civilization would have been lost. If it wasn't for the poets and the theater, I said, whoa, that's when I said, no, we need to really honor our artists in society and in the world. Mm -hmm. So you were an artist, what you do, it, it, artists can come in so many different, different forms, expression form. You were an artist, what you do, you do it with art, you do it with love, you do it with, with professionalism, you do it with, with a, a clarity and vital information, and you have to be creative to put all of that together. I'm listening to you doing the commercials, I'm like, you better be an artist to be able to do all that. <laughs> well, I guess, I guess same one thing. It, it's my job. I've had over 900 great guests, including yourself, King Melvin. If I didn't know how to do that, I'd be fired from my job. It's it's not myself. It'd be the fans and the guests. I'd be out of a job if I did not know how to do that. I'm glad you said that. <laughs> oh, no. I, I, I'm i just giving credit to what credit is due. I've been in radio for a long time. I um uh, I know what it takes to make it look easy. Newsflash, it's not. Exactly. And and of course you have to butt in on every single time as well too. And like, you know, like you're playing some Lauren Hill, you're mixing in with say with uh, Paul Simon newsflash. And it's like, you know, you got to bust out. It's like, you got to, you know, do things on the fly too. And, um, and of course, you know, speaking of radio, Ben and um, the Caribbean radio show, you got mind tuning radio and also entrepreneur, you know, something we'll talk about that. But first you listen to the Mike Wagner show at the Mike Wagner show.com powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at SonicWebStudios.com for all your needs. Also brought to you by our official sponsor of the Mike Wagner Show, International Warring Author, Mia Molson's The Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. We'll be back with the multi-talented, world's only African-American king, guru, minister, and more, King Melvin Brown, after this time. We're back with the amazingly multi-talented King Melvin Brown here on the Mike Wagner Show. Of course, world's only African-American king, guru, minister, also founder of Mind Tuning Philosophy, Foundation of Youth uh, Teachings and more. And of course, you know, we get into the radio business. You've been the host of a Caribbean radio show. And also, you're also involved in the project and founder of Mind Tuning Radio. And, um, you know, tell us more about that. This sounds amazing. Well, uh, thank you. Um, radio, Caribbean Radio was out of Brooklyn and uh, uh, development called the, um, the Restoration Building in Brooklyn, mm -hmm. uh, Bed Stuy. Yeah, it's a very famous building. Uh, the Billy Holiday Theater is in that building wow, in Brooklyn. Okay. Yeah, so I was like the only African American on the on. It was a Caribbean station, so I was the only African American, you know, in the lineup. So uh, I guess they wanted some variety. So I had a show that only uh, upcoming art. It was called Upcoming Artists. Oh wow! Yeah, if you was already heard, I wasn't interested in playing you. It always, I always had a feeling and uh, the importance of upcoming music, original music. That's why I uh, uh, I did that show and it was very, very successful. Now I'm uh, creating my own affiliate with uh, King and Queen Radio, Brooklyn Station. So uh, I'm very proud of, of that station. Uh, the owner of that station is uh, Zena Palin. She's, mm -hmm. uh, she's, she's done great work over there with that station. So uh, she saw uh, some skills that I had, and she and, um, she was able to uh, promote me to general manager over there. Nice, so, that's nice. Love it. Congrats. Yeah. So I'm so thankful for her being able to see uh, that I was worthy to to uh, put the uh, bring some good, uh, I would say, some good quality to the station because I'm in charge. She did very well with the uh, with this the uh, the music mm -hmm. part of it. Mm -hmm. I'm. Uh, talk show part of it so i'm developing the talk show uh part of the uh, king and queen radio brooklyn station and my handle affiliate would be uh uh, uh, uh my king and 
uh, King Melvin, uh, Mind Tuning Radio. You know, so it's a uh, it's a great undertaking. Uh, we just did a amazing. Uh, the uh, radio station uh, had their own float and nice. the dance festival parade. Mm-hmm. You know, the 65th dance festival parade, and we did the Puerto Rican parade. Oh, nice. So, so we, uh, I'm very excited about that. We get ready to do a magazine release party. I'm also a partner in uh, a magazine, uh, New York Global Biz. I'm very excited about that. Uh, so uh, we uh, definitely got an event coming up uh, in Harlem at one of the most oldest associations in America called the New Amsterdam Music Association. Nice. In Harlem. It's, it's, I think it was built in 1904. You mm-hmm. know, it was established in 1904. Uh, at that time, local 802 didn't want, um, uh, uh, it was kind of, didn't want um, uh, people of color in the union. Mm-hmm. So uh, UB Blake, Duke Count El- uh, Duke Ellington, all the big guys back in jazz, they set up this association. And so the building still stands. And so I'm doing a, uh, 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 an event there this uh, Friday, the 26th, August the 26th, uh, the magazine release party I'm doing there. And also uh, uh, the, the Scenager new TV show that I'm producing. So nice. that's going to be off. Anybody that comes, uh, they'll be able to, to uh, uh, when they pay $30, they'll be able to get a copy of the magazine. And, uh, and, and plus they'll have uh, access to being part of the TV taping. It's going to be bananas. It's going to be unbelievable. And Seenagers, we branded that because people of my, uh, you know, 55 and up, we don't want to be called, you know, uh, baby boomers, uh, mm-hmm. you know, seniors, uh, you know. Uh, so we said, let's make it cool. Because, see, Mike, I already know you cool like that. So we coined it for Seenagers. Mike, Seenagers. I love that one. Seenagers. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you created that. I'm going to start using that for no one. Seenagers. I love it. <laughs> well, we talked to our attorneys before. I, it took us almost a year to lock it down, so it's ours. And so we said, uh, "Scene ages slash, you still have it." So that's what. The, <laughs> that's what. The, so, so you're going to have to come. You're going to have to be on our show because uh, how old are you, Mike? If you don't mind me saying. Well, you know something. Since you hit upon the 55 as well, too, I'm going to come out and say that I am basically that two years shy away, and maybe a year and a half away from being the big six O. If that gives you any idea. Wow, the big six up, Mike. You a teenager. You got to get your membership card. Oh, de- you- definitely. I'm I'm working on it right now as we speak. In fact, I'm uh, writing stuff down, and I'm also uh, getting my information on the phone as well, too. So, you know, pay, pay attention, fans. We're doing this right here, so we're doing as we speak. So, <laughs> so. wow. So, so, so it's gonna be a show. You know, letting everybody dedicated. To the seniors market, that's who we're going to be talking to um, and letting all of the young people know. Now, even if Beyonce manager called me and said, yo, King Melvin, we want to get on this show. I said, listen, um, now, you know, we love Beyonce, but she's not quite a teenager. So she really don't qualify to be on the show, you know, but she can support us. But because. Between you and I, we're going to have major signatures because I have a lot of people that sung with Count Basie, Duke Ellington. And just because of their age, they still got it. They sing like canaries and they're starving. They can't get any work because of their age. So we're going to have petitions to send to Washington and the millions and say, listen, Hollywood, stop it. Because we're also creating a seniors union to make sure that we do not get discriminated because of our age. You still got, we're not talking, we know the people that that's, don't have good health. We're not talking about them. We're talking about the Mikes. Why, why do Mike Wagner get, uh, can't get these Hollywood gigs and all of this kind of stuff? Because, whoa, whoa, it shouldn't be about just the young people because we still got it. 
That's right. I mean, you and I really do have it. I got to say that. It's like, and I definitely love to have you back on and um, and also talk more about that. In the meantime, where can we find uh, Mind Tuning Radio? Also, um, you know, the King Melvin Brown Show and also find uh, your magazine. Where can we find all your stuff at and uh, how, how can we tune in? Well, Ella Shapiro is our entertainment editor. Eileen, Eileen, enter- you know Eileen. Yes, correct. Yeah. Yes. Amazing. Uh, and she, so is Jimmy. Yes. She, she is uh, in our magazine. She's our entertainment editor, and she'll lock you into all this because that's how we got to, the, to this great show. That's certainly amazing as well, too. Once again, we're with King Melvin Brown here on the Mike Wagner Show. And uh, also, too, we, we uh, should not forget, you've got an upcoming book as well. And uh, tell us a bit about that. Oh, I'm excited about this book. I mean, it's going to... Um, uh, it's going to talk about um, my best subject is just going to be about how we as human beings can be all we can be. How you how would you can tune your mind and be able to just not do average and ordinary things. Be able. I believe in the magic. I talk a lot about magic. I talk a lot about the imagination because that's an underserved device. Our imagination, if we really think about it, everything we experience in the human experience came from the imagination. Yes. Right here. That's right. Yes. Yes. So I'm going to be talking about, yes, no, magic is not make-believe. It's real. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go into all kinds of uh, uh, experiences and 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 really have people do a lot of meditation because I got a meditation philosophy and technique called the mind tuning meditation. Just 15 minutes in the morning, 15 minutes at night, and you can tune your mind to amazing frequency. Now, they've got a lot of different kind of meditation, but they're kind of complicated and this and that. I keep it very simple. Get the same results. So I'm excited when that book come out, you will definitely, Eileen Shapiro will let you know because I'm so excited about uh, really being able to let everybody know how great and powerful they are. The human being is probably the Mm -hmm. most undertapped resource in our experience called life. Mm Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. And of course, we're definitely looking forward to that. And of course, a few more things, uh, King Melvin, besides what you got going on, what else can we expect from you in 2022 and beyond, even 2023, perhaps? Well, uh, you will you will definitely uh, know that uh, the Senator television show is going to be on major networks. Uh, also, uh, you can uh, know for a fact that you'll be able to have mind-tuning uh, uh, the Mind to the Institute we're building at as we speak, there will be a, uh, a building where you'll be able to take all these great courses. Um, also, all of my original songs, I'm a singer songwriter. I will have my major songs out there in the world, and it's all about love. And also, I'm in the process of uh, creating a Broadway show. So, it's a lot to that's unfolding as we speak. So mm. I am excited about what's ahead. And I have to say, I am so moved about this great country called the United States of America. I've traveled the world over. I have to say, even with its so-called problems, this is the great country that I've ever experienced. It's wonderful. And certainly is amazing too. And we're very happy for it as well. And um, also who do you consider biggest influence in the career? Oh, my biggest influence. uh, I would have to say the nation of Islam. The nation of Islam uh, was the black Muslims that taught me how to, be a runaway from the taught me from a runaway child to growing up to being a man. Mm-hmm. It was a military aspect of the nation of Islam that taught me manhood. I must say 
It changed my life radically. And certainly amazing as well. What a story. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Well, the best, try to understand that you came into the world with all the equipment you need for success. Try to meditate and understand all your answers are within you. Not so much, it answers outside of you, it does help, but the best answers are within you. So this is why I teach mind tuning because when I teach you mind tuning, you'll be able to go in and find out all of the answers were always there, but we're just cut off from them. Mm-hmm. And that's very good advice as well, too. Keep the mind tuned. Once again, we're with the uh, multi-talented King Melvin Brown, world's only African-American king, guru, minister, also founder of Mind Tuning Philosophy, Foundation of Youth Teachings, and also radio host, entrepreneur, more here on the Mike Wagner Show. King Melvin, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Learned a lot from you. Looking forward to having you again soon. Make sure you keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Definitely love to have you back. Once again, tell us about your upcoming projects, what's your website, how do people contact you, or can people purchase, check out your books, or check out your works, and everything else? All right. Well, um, thanks for having me again, and um, and I would like to interview you on my show. So you have an open invitation for that. And contact is Eileen Shapiro. Um, so if you want to know anything about my websites and uh, my mind-tuning philosophies, she is definitely the contact. So I'm just grateful uh, that she's our entertainment mm-hmm. editor brilliant 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 let's all get out of here so um thank you for having me and you're certainly amazing as well too king melvin again a very big thank you for your time you've been absolutely amazing learned a lot looking forward to having again soon make sure you keep us up to date keep in touch love you back and definitely definitely wish y'all best and most definitely you have a great future ahead of you thank you have a good night